We're hunting in Pennsylvania the last day of the flintlock muzzleloader season, shooting great big does and wired outdoor shirts right, right now. now. Hello and welcome to Wired Outdoors. We have a great show for you today as we're going to be joining field staffers Brian Schweitzer and Andy Traster on the very last day of the late season flintlock muzzleloader here in northwest Pennsylvania. And they are going to be heading into a familiar spot. It's the same food plot where you saw me shoot a doe with my flintlock muzzleloader a couple weeks ago. This is a food plot from Whitetail Institute that is getting hammered. So we have no time left. It's the last day. Let's see if they can get it done. Good evening, and what a beautiful evening it is. It is the last night of the Flintlock Muzzleloader season, season here in Pennsylvania, and I was really, really lucky. I got invited to come into one of Jason's White Tail Institute food plots. I got Andy Tracer behind the camera night. Like I say, it's the last night. It is some kind of cold. So we're thinking they're gonna come. There's plenty of deer in the neighborhood and they've been coming here quite often. So we're gonna try to be quiet and see what happens. hooping and hollering until we get our hands in the deer because I've done this too long to jump to conclusions for sure. I want to thank Jason Say also. He gave me the green light to come in here to one of his awesome food plots. So he has so many good food plots. And this one here, it's just like automatic. It is so much fun. Again, thank you Jason and Mr. Whitetail Institute for a great job. And thank you Andy Traster. Yeah, that was fun. We were here for a total of 10 minutes. Maybe 10. Yeah. Just enough to dust off the blind. Yeah, we dusted off the blind and Andy said, oh, there's a deer up on the hill coming. Well, like I say, we're not going to jump to conclusions till we get out there and see what we got. She, she wasn't going that great, but you know how that goes. Okay, here we are. It is Sunday and it is a beautiful sunrise coming up. It's cold. After the shot last night, we went back to Jason's and we watched it on the computer and we seen the shot was a little bit back, so we didn't want to take any chances, so we just left her go for the night and we come out here this morning we got a little bit more help we're gonna see if we can find her what we got, okay she didn't go she laid down there a couple times she got she didn't go 50 60 yards she laid here she laid here 
That's kind of encouraging. She's not doing too good, I don't think. We're getting where she ain't getting much spaces between her laying down. We got yeah. three beds where she's laying here. Hopefully we're getting close. Yeah. Where you got her? Oh, nice. Let's go get her. Thanks, buddy. Yeah. Hey. Right, Thanks, man. boys. You're welcome. Yeah. That's the same food plot I shot mine on. That's it. Yes, Jason got one here a week ago. Yeah. He had 10 minutes in his hunt, and we was lucky to have 10 minutes in our hunt. Yeah. And obviously, my little girl's a better shot than I am. <laughs> she knows where to hit them, but yeah. thanks to good buddies and good tracking, and Mother Nature give us some snow, we recovered her. She really didn't go that far. 200 yards yeah but she was having a hard time but we got her could be any happier yep okay here we are and what a beautiful day to recover this beautiful big doe that i kind of made a boo-boo on but she didn't go very far i had some good friends tracking it with me i couldn't be any happier right now and like i said it's the last yesterday was the last day of the season and what a way to wrap it up congratulations ryan nothing like wait until the last minute and after Brian brought the footage over to the house and we watched it, I know he was really disappointed with his shot. As you can see, it was really far back, but he did the right thing. The deer was broadside, stopped, you know, it was an ethical shot. He just pulled it and that's going to happen, especially when you're hunting with flintlock muzzleloader. That can be tough. So as hunters, we always strive to make clean ethical kills, but if you hunt long enough, you know that it's going to happen. We did the right thing. We waited till the next morning and we easily recovered this deer. So again, Brian, congratulations. Thank you all for joining us on Wired Outdoors. Official, season's over, perfect year.